Hey everyone, it's Alejandro. It's Friday, June 5th, 2009. It's time to end this week's edition of the Weight Loss Losers. It's the end of the week, and the weekend is about to begin. As you can see, we had a little bit of confusion about what topics we were supposed to cover this week. So, I decided I'm going to change it up just a little bit and not really cover a topic on Friday, as Shanti, Natalie, and Juan have already covered uh, the particular topics this week, but instead ask you all a question. As you know, it's the month of June already, and at the end of the month, we'll mark the halfway point to the end of the year. Can you believe it? It's been six months already in 2009, and here we are at the halfway point. It's a long time. It's amazing how fast time does fly. So many changes this year. Hmm. Our lives just keep getting busier and busier. So the question I want to ask all of you today is, how are you doing on your plan so far? It's been six months. We've started the new year. We've all made the resolution to lose weight this year and to live a healthier life. So it's time to check in. How have you been doing? As far as myself, you know, I've been doing okay. I have my off days. I have my on days. More on days than off days, though. But it's a daily process. I wish it could happen overnight. It just won't happen overnight. So <clears throat> could I do things better? Sure. I'm still on my water high, so to speak, is where I drink water constantly. I love it. Every you now I'll have uh, iced tea every now and then, but still, I love drinking water. And that's one habit that I can say that I'm happy with having, is water, water, water. <clears throat> as far as Weight Watchers goes, I'm down more weeks than I am up, which is good. Uh, you know, but I wish it would go faster. But, you know, we can't all have what we want. Overall, there are probably so many things I can improve on, especially the exercise. That's something I could definitely improve on. Uh, but, you know, there's changes I can make everywhere else. I've noticed that going off to college this fall, I'll actually be living on campus, uh, you know, on my own. I'm looking forward to it, but I noticed that I haven't been stressing about it lately uh, because it's just going to be a change of uh, atmosphere and lifestyle for me. So I've been a little nervous. And I tend to notice when I handle stress, I don't eat and by meaning that I don't eat breakfast or lunch. I'll have something to eat for dinner, but that's it. And, um, you know, I, I catch it from from someone, you know, that you need to eat breakfast, you need to eat lunch. I know, I know I need to eat breakfast and lunch, but when I stress out about things, I don't eat. And, uh, you, know, so, you know, you hear the common, uh, the common uh, thing that happens that when people stress, they eat more. Not me, I eat less much less when I stress out about things. So, you know, August will start school. I'll be in college in the fall and, you know, I'll suck it up and get used to it, but that's just how I deal with stress a little bit is by not eating. So, that's how I've been doing Unplanned. Once again, how have you been doing Unplanned? Have you been doing great? Have you been doing so-so? Hmm, or have you not been doing well at all? You know, we all looked at the beginning of the year with so much enthusiasm as far as, you know, we're going to do it this year, 2009 is our year. Okay, for some of us, it may not have been our year so far. Use this midway point, June. Use this month as a turnaround. For those of you who are not doing as well as you hope, maybe need some more motivation, or just flat out aren't doing that well at all. We still have plenty of time left. Six months is a long time. However, if we don't use that time wisely, before we know it, we'll be in 2010, making the same resolutions. So let's not fall into that trap of, you know, I'll start tomorrow. You know, I'll start the next day. Start now. Start now. Time is very valuable. Time is very precious. We're only here for a short period of time as it is. So let's make the best of the time that we have so far. So, 
Leave us some comments. Let us know how you're doing on plan, how the weight loss losers ourselves can help you. As you've noticed, we've changed some days up again. We still have Shanti and Natalie the first two days of the week. We're leaving Wednesday open, and we're trying something uh, new coming up pretty soon as far as viewer responses, leaving that open for viewers. Jason, as you know, has taken some time off, and uh, I wish him the best. I am in complete support of him. I think everyone needs a little time off uh, from the YouTube community. Uh, itself. It can be draining at times. You know, when you join the YouTube weight loss community, you are not just joining a forum or some kind of message board. You're becoming part of a family here in the community. You are becoming part of a large family. Um, and when you become part of a family, you're going to realize you have a favorite aunt or an uncle, uh, you know, a favorite sibling, you know, or something that you uh, tend to bond with when there may be other people that you don't like as much. That happens in every family. I'm closer to several aunts than I am closer to several aunts on the other side of the family. It just happens. We are one big family. There are going to be little social groups, or little tighter-knit groups in different parts of the community than there are in others. It's just how it is. It's one big family, but we're all here with the same goal in mind. No, we may not always get along. We may not always agree on things. Sometimes friendships tend to break. Sometimes new ones are formed. It's just part of the community. The point is to keep your eye on the prize and to stay focused. <clears throat> when you do join the community, though, there will be bonds that you form with people. I mean, we all are here watching videos, commenting on each other, supporting each other. There will be bonds that you form with those. And some bonds with some people may be stronger than others. And those particular bonds will carry over into your real life. And before you know it, some of these people who you were just watching online now become part of your daily lives. Um, that's what makes the community so special. But every now and then, yes, it is very healthy, I think, to get away for a little while. Which is something that I've done myself. I've pulled away from the community and brought myself back to uh, my weight loss efforts prior to even joining YouTube before. So it's really helped keep things in focus for me. We'll see Jason again here in a few months, but I wish him the best, and I completely support his decision in doing what he needs to do. Juan's still going to be on Thursday, and then you have me now on Friday. So, that wraps it up this week. Stay tuned for Shanti on Monday. So for Shanti, 